You know, when we consider collections of real numbers, sometimes we think of those as being sets of real numbers. We can express them in a variety of different ways. So here's a way of expressing a collection of real numbers, a set of real numbers, which is expressed by the set of all numbers x that are greater than 0 and also less than or equal to 10. And what I'd like to do here is try to describe this using what's called interval notation. That means we should be looking on a number line and seeing where, in fact, this collection of numbers resides. So we have 0, and we count all the way up to 10. And these are the numbers. So x represents the, the variable where any real number, once you're bigger than 0 but less than or equal to 10, constitutes a candidate. So all these numbers in here, between 0 and 10, are all allowed. Now, what about the, the sort of beginning and the ending points? Well, since this says 0 is strictly less than x, that means we're not allowed to actually equal 0. So I put a big open circle there. And since x can get up to 10, it's less than or possibly equal to 10, I can actually put a colored in circle there. So I have an open circle and a colored in circle here. And I can express that in interval notation by just writing down the endpoints 0, 10. And if I don't include the endpoint, I use a nice rounded parentheses. And if I do want to include that endpoint, then I used a square parenthesis. So in fact, this is the interval notation, open round parentheses, 0, 10, closed square parentheses. That represents this collection of number, the in in numbers, the interval between 0 and 10, where I include 0, but I, don't in I include 10, but I do not include 0. So that is interval notation. Let's take a look at this. Here we're just given the, the actual picture. And I want to produce the interval notation for this. Now let's look at it. What's happening here is to gain candidacy into this set, you can get it in two different ways. Do you see it? You can either be somewhere down here, any, any really tiny number all the way up to negative 3. And since the, the circle is colored in, I'm allowed to include negative 3. Or you can gain candidacy into the set by being somewhere in here. Anything bigger than negative 1 all the way up through and including the number 4. So how would I write that in interval notation? I'd say you can start as far to the left as you want. So we'd write negative infinity. That means as far to the left as you can imagine. Now, of course, negative infinity turns out not to be a number, so we don't include it. So I use this kind of a parenthesis. And I go all the way up to negative 3. And since it's colored in, that means that I'm allowed to equal that. And so I use this kind of closed interval. And then I say, well, there's one way of getting in there. Or, and I actually write the word or, you can gain candidacy by being in this interval, which is between negative 1 and 4. But I don't include negative 1. I do include the 4. So this is actually the way of expressing this collection of sets using this interval notation. Interval notation. Good stuff.